Evening everyone, uh, week 42 update, uh, Brian McManus Real Estate, which is pretty exciting stuff going on at the moment, and uh, I'd have to say we've been on the road, and it's looking uh, like, as predicted, uh, quite a busy period coming up, and certainly uh, with the amount of inquiry we've got going um, at the moment, we're pretty close to 7 million views um, just on Google alone so generally Facebook, Google, Instagram all about the same each so we're looking at 14, 21 million which is pretty good, we're pretty happy with that um, it's certainly increasing, we're averaging about 100,000 every 2 or 3 days and um, that's on Google and the others so we've uh, we've hit a, a formula for our marketing that we're pretty happy with uh, happy for our vendors and we drive we're driving that as a business uh, the vendors um, the vendor advertising is on top of that um, in more of the traditional terms whereas we we're, we're, we're um, focusing on the business we're probably a lot more aggressive and in, uh, in driving uh, we're driving traffic to our properties which is an important thing that we offer that um, uh, many others don't so we're moving right along there we're uh, just under a, a, um, a week to auction the 25th of October and then we move into the November December auctions and uh, of course our Christmas auction about the 20th of December it is the 20th Friday the 20th so uh, yeah it's all, all everything's picking up um, we're going to talk a, a little bit and I've, I've had some inquiries and uh, we're doing a bit of buyer um, uh, buyer work buyer agency work and uh, we do that from time to time for our clients um, we're, we're we come into the negotiation purely We've been hired by the buyer, not our properties, and uh, to secure a, a successful purchase. Now we've come across a, I've come across this a, a few times over the last twenty four to thirty six months, and that's where um, a outside agents come in, no different to to me, um, uh, but we're we're really coming in and out of markets with uh, a certain product so we know roughly what it's worth um, with hotels motels caravan parks um, but it, if i go into a market that i'm not familiar with i have to i have to revert to the um, uh, appraisal principles we're not allowed to call them valuation but using valuation um, uh, courses that teach us how to value and it comes back to there are all sorts of markers is what I'm probably saying and um, when a, a property let's say a property sold, sold five years ago we'll, we'll, I'll run the scenario by you property sold uh, five years ago about uh, six seventy thousand um, it's come back to the market now and, and I have a buyer that's interested. So what would you anticipate the purchase price to be? Um, fair market value. So we're not in a, and this is a rural town, we're not in a, um, a booming market, so to speak, a rural town. So what would you expect your compounded capital gain to be? So... The new purchase price, five years down the track, there might have been a few renovations of, the, so it's a, a semi-rural property, uh, no income coming from it, so you can't factor that in, it's just a lifestyle. Um, the house may have been renovated marginally, so, and a, um, a period house, so nothing uh, spectacular. It's not something that um, is, a, is a designer home or, or, or anything. It's just a three bedroom, two bathroom home. Dwellings probably about 100, 
60 square meters max so that's what it sits at it sits on a, a chunk of land um, and saying that it's a, a chunk that you can't really farm and it's too big um, to maintain as a as a lifestyle so it fits into that category so I paid 670 for this uh, property they have renovated it um, and we've come in for an appraised price of about a million dollars just under a million dollars now the um, expectation is uh, 2.5 to 3 million uh, dollars which um, I worked out a rough rate of about 6% six, 6 the town is, is tracking at uh, capital gain over the last 12 months it was less than that of course um, during that period so that was the max now the new agent who was out of area um, 100 200 k's away 100 120 k's away um, has listed it at, with a capital gain of 20 to 25 percent yeah, I can tell you it ain't Bellevue Hill, buddy. Um, and that is that is indicative of not sitting down and working out um, your appraisal. And it's, it's sitting down and, yeah. and um, I, the market was booming. It, it, you're still not going to see 25% capital gain um, compounded over... I think seven years so yeah you've got to come back to reality at some point if it's sold for x and capital gain it'll be a guide so you might have improved it but some of that's deferred maintenance don't forget so if you've gone and spent two hundred thousand dollars renovating you don't get your two hundred thousand dollars back you get you've just bought it up that all that deferred maintenance up to date so you don't necessarily add that to your sale price that's you'll get some back but you won't get the whole lot um, you you're gambling that capital gain has happened as well so moving right along so that's a that's a scenario that you know there's property sitting there about one to one and a half million over the market um, and to to really bring that into line um, and to stop the agents talking about it because we're not valuers we're just appraisers um, I've, I suggest that a, a licensed valuer come in they come in and they independently value the property using valuation principles um, certainly can't use anything other than that so yeah there you have it it's a uh, I have a buyer that's wanting to buy it it's a, a very good opportunity but um, you can't pay over market rate it's wanting to buy wanting to sell a principal at the moment so um, you've got to raise debt on it you can't simply um, whack a couple of million dollars on a property um, that you paid 674 only four or five years ago six years ago so yeah there you go and moving right along to uh, properties coming through we're looking at a variety of lifestyle properties available out there um, uh, luxury homes in in the eastern suburbs there's, there's an amount coming through pretty excited about that also got the hotels motels caravan parks coming through a variety of those coming through so yeah we're going to be real busy as we as we pick up and uh yep we'll be going through a set of ties <coughs> and i would say by the 20th of december after that last auction it will be crashing in the heap and we won't be starting up again until that first week of um january we're pretty excited about that so if you're looking at coming to the market the important things important things now Okay, don't worry about your presentation too much. Clean and tidy. 
just got to be livable. You've seen my videos. I don't expect my vendors to be pristine every time we come through. In fact, lived in. Give us that lived in feel. When I'm coming through with the videos, the buyers want to see it real. They don't want to see this um, show home that has no heart. And if you want to have a good look at how a, a property should be presented, have a look at the Stop and Mingle Hotel. Family of six. It's lived in. You can see um, how the kids have decorated different rooms <coughs> that they are, they are um, they occupy the family room as a family room the kitchen is what it is and it's it's a functioning really good functioning kitchen we had um, a breakfast there was fantastic we had there were plates and and the cold range was going and um, it was fantastic but that's what what people want to see that's why we're getting a hundred thousand views every couple of days in our, in, in, in our uh, media, it's real. I'm real. This is how I come. Where there's no um, doctrine of anything. It's all done by this phone that I'm talking to right now. All the photos are taken on. All the videos are recorded on it. So there's no, it doesn't go into an editing suite. It's rock up and roll. And you'll notice that I don't, um, well, I think I've done one in, in the last five years where I've had paused and moved on to another topic and then played a game. It's running straight through. So, let's talk about um, what the market's doing. Pretty hot. Well, it's, it's not hot. It's willing buyer, willing seller. Um, money's a bit tight, so... They can't raise, the buyers can't raise as much debt as they used to be able to. And um, that then affects sale prices. But you're getting fair market value. You know, people that, that want to make a squillion dollars out of their house sale, it ain't going to happen. You're just wasting your agent's time. Oh, sorry about that. You're wasting your agent's time and you're, and you're wasting your own time. Fair market value, get a good price and move on with your life. That's the key. Anyway. As we move into November, give us a call. We've got extra auctions booked, so um, you can come in. Let's get these contracts, get them out, and and move on. I've just got one thing of interest that you might want to see. Now, I'm going to show you. This is a title from 1880 of a suburb and a village and the difference so what happens is names are changed um, later on and added to the title so you'll notice there's, there's actually writing on the titles of um, a number of different things happening land releases there's a um, the sale of the first blocks of land in 1880, uh, 5th of July 1880, was actually at Kudamundri. <laughs> Later it become Kudamundra, uh, 1953, I think, by memory. Um, so parish, parishes change, county of Bland on this one. And then you, you go, if you read your titles, which when you do get them, um, read your titles. It'll tell you a massive amount of information about um, the history of your property. And it'll have your, um, like where the auctions were. Um, sometimes they actually have the sale prices. Um, they'll have the bearings. You know, they're shooting bearings. Um, all sorts of, fantastic information but anyway and and I would suggest you check the sizes because sometimes things have changed over the years and they shouldn't have you may have lost a bit of land but there you go just something different these titles are I find really interesting great to read and and it, it's got a history it's got people's names and that's that's awesome 
have a wonderful week 42 and we'll talk to you uh, next week